Okay, here's a video to show the uh, how the back plate for the Corsair H100i fits on the uh, MSI Z97i gaming uh, AC mini ITX port. Uh, you'll see on the internet there's a lot of posts of people complaining that the back plate is a little loose. Uh, some people say that it's on purpose, that that's how Corsair wanted it to fit. Other people, you know, like me, say that it's a little too loose, so we ended up putting washers at the bottom so that, that you could get a snug fit and have the processor actually, sorry, the uh, the uh, radiator or the uh, the water cooling block make contact with the processor. So we're going to do a little test. First, we're going to mount it without the washers to see what kind of temps we get and then we're going to mount it with the washers and then see what temps we get real quick I'm going to zoom in so that you can see what the talk is about as far as it fitting loose you can see that the uh, the back plate protrudes to the little holes on the PCB PCB sorry and here are the sorry Do you hear that so again this play some people claim it's on purpose and that once you mount the block there's no wiggle room so we're gonna test that and of course the next common mistake everyone makes is when they put the block in the back they put it uh, in the wrong section you can see the notches are there so this is a correctly mounted uh, back plate but again there's some some play as you heard it so we're gonna see how how that works, All right? Okay, here is the processor stress test. It's not a crazy test; it's a simple one. But you can see that it's at 72. Some of you may consider that high. Some of them, some of you may think it's fine. When I used the washers on mine the highest it would go would be like 55 and on idle it could go as low as 25 between 25 to 32 so again this is without the washers when we first started the computer the idle temp was 32 and as you can see it's it's really not super high but I think we could get a little bit lower and for everyone's reference we used MX4 MX4 thermal paste for grease okay here's the bracket with the washers installed for the washers we use the ones that are available for uh, putting on the hard drive to minimize vibration they're probably about two millimeters thick and I'm gonna show you in a couple seconds once it's mounted how it barely protrudes through the uh, motherboard all right here you can barely see the bracket and we are going to remove the uh, thermal paste we're gonna run the uh, thermal paste remover and then the purifier so that it's a clean test and then we're going to me measure the temperatures. Okay, here are the results with the washer. When it booted up, the idle temperatures were exactly the same as without the washers, which was 32 Celsius. It was after running this test, and I forgot how long it was running in the prior video. But you can see that it hasn't gone past 60. If I'm remembering correctly, the other one was was going up 60. It might have even hit like 70. So this isn't necessarily a super accurate test because, of course, normally you want to let the the thermal paste sit there for a few hundred hours, settle in before you take it. But I think it's a okay indicator. There you go. It's going up. 59.60. So anyways, it's a little bit of a, a change in the degrees, but in case you're thinking of overclocking, all those little minor degrees may help. 